Hello, everyone. Welcome to the APH Virtual Excel Academy. We are so glad to have you with us today. Today, we are going to be money masters. So if you haven't had a chance, you're going to need pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, a dollar bill, and a five dollar bill. Might be time to raid your mom's wallet to be able to play along with us. Welcome to the APH Virtual Excel Academy. Today, we are really working with our younger students, but everybody is welcome to join us. We are going to be money masters. So I hope you have taken the time to get your coins and money available. Don't worry, if you're borrowing it, you can always give it back when we're done. Welcome, welcome. We are glad to see you here. You can write in the chat and say hello to us. Feel free to learn along with us. Today is Money Masters and our instructor today is Kathy Bingham. Hi, Kathy, how are you? Hi, I am so happy today and very excited to meet with a new group of students to become Money Masters. It's gonna be a fantastic day. I have got all of my coins prepared right here in front of me with some extra teaching supplies. And I have a fantastic book that we could get we get to read part of too. Donnie, I'm so glad you're here. Hello, Clara. That's so exciting to see you. So I'm going to jump right in and I'm going to ask some questions. I want you to think to yourself, where have you seen money before? Have you been with your grown up and seen money? Have you been with a brother or a sister and seen money? Have you been with friends and seen money? You've been at a bank to see money. A bank is an excellent place to go and see money. And think about what kind of money did you see there when you were at the bank or with your grown up? Did you see coins? Did you hear coins as they rattle together because they're made out of metal and they make sounds? Donnie saw some pennies, which are fantastic. Sometimes I even find pennies on the ground as I've been watching walking. Somebody has dropped a coin or a penny. And when you find a penny on the ground, be sure to pick it up because that will give you good luck. So today I want to take just a second and get a little movement going as we go as we start out and we'll probably take another movement break partially in. So when I say the word penny, I'm going to stand up straight and tall like a soldier just like that. Penny, here we go. Boom. When I say nickel, I'm going to spin my body around. All the way around. When I say dime, dimes are a little. So I'm going to squat down low to the ground. And when I say quarter, Quarters are big and fat. So I'm gonna spread my legs out wide and I'm gonna put my arms to my side, kind of out and rounded like I'm a great big ball. Let's try it all together. I'm gonna call them out, ready? I'm gonna say penny. I'm standing straight and tall, just like a soldier. And I bet you are too. I'm going to say nickel, spinning all the way around. I'm going to say dime, squatting low to the ground because dimes are small. If I'm lucky, maybe I'll find one. And I'm going to say quarter. My legs are spread out. My arms are wide like I'm a big ball or a big fat quarter. Sometimes that helps me remember. I'm going to sit back down again real quick. And I want to jump into our coins. I want to see 
a penny first and then a nickel. And the reason I'm doing a penny first and then a nickel is because they are similar. All of my coins are the same shape. All of my coins are round, a round circle. But pennies and nickels have one more similarity. My pennies and nickels are smooth on the outside edges. So I can run my fingernail along that edge or, wrong, or my finger along that edge and it feels very smooth to me. And that's one feature I can look for that I can feel to help me figure out which coins are which. So if you have a penny with you, can you let me know in the chat by saying you have by saying P for penny, or if you can type in the word penny, type it in. Thanks, Donnie. That's awesome. So the penny is the smaller coin that has the smooth edges. Nickels are bigger than pennies. Also, if you have a little bit of vision, pennies are a different color than any of the other coins that we have. Pennies are a copper or kind of a brown color, if you can see that. Nice job, Clara, that's fantastic. I want to know if you happen to know how much is a penny worth? Is a penny worth 25 cents or is a penny worth one cent? Nice job, Nadia. A penny is worth one cent. So if I have a bunch of pennies all at the same time, I get to count by ones. Awesome. I'm gonna take just a second here and get a few more pennies on my board. And then we're gonna work and we're gonna practice on counting them. So far I have four pennies on my board and I'm ready to put my last fifth penny on my board. So here on my board in front of us, I have five round smooth edge copper pennies. And when I'm counting those pennies, I get to count by ones. So I would count them like this. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do it one more time and wherever you're sitting and joining me from, I want you to say it with me. Even though I won't be able to hear you, I'll be able to feel it, I bet. So let's count them together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five pennies. That's awesome. And if I have five pennies, I can buy a few things. I found this fun little book I wanna share with you. And I can see in that picture, I have a wizard and the wizard is standing next to a young child who's feeding a fish. And the sign on the wall says, feed the fish and earn one penny. So that child is feeding the fish and the wizard says, Congratulations, you've earned a penny, just like the ones that we had. At the bottom of the page, I still have that wizard, and that wizard is taking that child to a stand where they can buy some things. And the words say, it will buy anything that costs one cent. So if you can find, sometimes they have something that's called penny candy. You could get one piece of candy for one penny. This, um, this child looks like they want to buy a pebble with their penny. So they use their one cent to buy a penny. If they were to feed the fish five times, they would get five pennies, just like we have on our board. One, two, three, four, five. 
And that is the same amount of money as our nickel. How many of you know, can tell me how much is the nickel worth now? Is it worth one cent or is our nickel worth five cents? Nice, Nadia, thank you. And Donnie and Jeremy, nice job. We have our nickels that are worth five cents. Nickels are shiny and silver. They're a little bit bigger than the penny and they're a little bit heavier in my hand when I hold them than the penny is. And they are worth five cents. Can you put in the chat for me um, if you know how to count by fives? Give me a yes or a no in the chat for that one. Nice. So when I count my nickels, if I have a whole roll of nickels, then I get to count them by fives. And if you don't know how to count by fives, we're going to take a little break right now and we're going to sing a song. This song is really special to me because I had a student that taught me this song. And it starts like this. The words say, eat a slice of watermelon ripe from the vine. Five seeds in every slice, even mine. And then we're gonna count by fives. So I'm gonna sing the first little bit for you. And when you feel like you've got the groove of our song, you can join in with me wherever you are. It says, eat a slice of watermelon ripe from the vine. Five seeds in every slice, even mine. I've got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And then I stop at 50. If you wanted to keep going, you could. So how are you feeling about that? Who thinks they're ready to sing that with me? Nice. Thanks, Nadia. I'm excited I won't be singing alone. And Clara and Donnie. Nice job. All right, let's sing it all together. Here we go. Eat a slice of watermelon ripe from the vine. Five seeds in every slice, even mine. I've got five, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And we can stop right there. Who wants to sing it one more time or do you want to play a game with our song? I think maybe I want to know, oh yes, let's play a game. How many of you guys know how to play red light, green light? Red light means stop and green light means go. Nice. I'm gonna play red light, green light with this song, but I'm gonna do the red light, green light part at the time when we count by fives. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sing and when I hit the count by five part, at some point, I'm gonna stop. And the way you give me a green light to let me go is by telling me which count by five number would come next. Are you ready? Here we go. Eat a slice of watermelon ripe from the vine. Five seeds in every slice, even mine. I've got five. 10. Oh no, I stopped. What number comes next? 15. Nice guys. Here we go. 15, 20, 25. I stopped again. 30. Nice job, you guys. 30, 
35, 40. Oh no, I've stopped. 45, excellent job, you guys. 45, 50, and 50 is where we stopped. I'm not stumping you guys very much. So I wonder if we need to extend our count by five parts and count by fives up until 100. So I'll sing it first, then we'll sing it all together, and then we'll play red light, green light with it. Here we go. Eat a slice of watermelon ripe from the vine. Five seeds in every slice, even mine. I've got five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Awesome. All right, who's ready to sing it with me? We're ready to eat that watermelon. Here we go. Eat a slice of watermelon ripe from the vine. Five seeds in every slice, even mine. I've got five, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. All right, how did that go? Are we doing good? Did any of those bigger numbers trip us up? Nice, Donnie. I love counting by fives because it gives that awesome little rhythm that we can kind of groove to. It's really fun. All right, let's do red light, green light. I wonder when I'm gonna stop. And remember, if you want me to go again, you've got to tell me the next number when I'm counting by fives. Here we go. Eat a slice of watermelon right from the vine. Five seeds in every slice, even mine. I've got five, 10, 15. Oh no, I stopped. What comes next? 20, nice. Here I go again. 20, 25, 30. Oh no, I stopped again. Excellent job, you guys. 35 comes next, nice job. 35, 40, 45. And I keep stopping. Nadia says 50 and so does Jeremy. Excellent job, you guys. I cannot trip you up. 50, 55. I stopped quickly that time. 60 comes after 55 when I'm counting by fives. Excellent. 60, 65, 70. Hmm. Stopped again. Donnie says 75. Nice work, you guys. 75, 80, 85. 90. Nice job, you guys. 90, 95. 100. Nice work. 
you guys are doing a great job on our count by fives. I am really proud of all your hard work. Nice job. So we can use our count by five songs whenever we get to count nickels. So remember when we had pennies, we counted by ones. But when we, we have nickels, we get a count by fives. So we can remember that watermelon song and that watermelon song will help us to know exactly how to do it. So I'm just taking my time right now and I wanna get us some nickels that we can count and we can practice this count by fives. So on my board right here, I have three nickels. They are shiny, they are silver, they are round, they're kind of heavy, and the edge of my nickels is very smooth. That skinny edge, I'm rubbing up my finger on it and it's very smooth. So if I know that nickels are worth five cents, how would we count three nickels? Hmm, I could count five, 10, 15. And what nice work, you guys. And what I like to do when I'm counting my coins, it helps me to touch them with my finger. So when I'm touching the nickels, I touch them once right in the center and I say five. And then I touch the next one once in the center and I say the next count by five number, which is 10. And then I touch the next one in the center and say the following count by number and that's 15. So if I speed that up just a little bit, I say five, 10, 15. There we go. So I'm gonna add another nickel to my board. And let's see if we can count this one. Remember, I'm gonna touch it one time with my index finger and I'm gonna count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. We could even sing it like we sing it in our songs if we want, we could say, Five, 10, 15, 20. And if that makes it for fun, absolutely do that. I think there's always time and reason to burst in the song in the middle of the day, especially when I'm working. Nice job. Let me add one more nickel and then let's see how much money we have. All right, I can count five nickels on my board. So I'm gonna touch them with my in index finger and we're gonna count by fives. Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Jeremy, you got there before I did. You're so fast, very, very good. All right, let's do it one more time. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, what I'm gonna do real quick, I'm gonna flip my blackboard around and I'm going to put some nickels on here and we're gonna count them together. Here we go. I have my nickel board and it has two shiny silver nickels. Hmm, who thinks they can count that with me? I touch it with my index finger and I say five, 10. I have 10 cents on my board. Was I right? Did you get 10 too? Nice, good job, Clara. All right, I'm turning my board back around. I'm reaching over. I'm seeing what I can find for nickels. 
<gasps> I have added some more nickels to my board. Let's count them together. I see four nickels. Remember, I'm going to touch them with my index finger and I'm going to count by fives. Ready? Five, 10, 15, 20. Nice job, you guys. You beat me. Excellent, excellent. Let's try one more. I'm adjusting my board. And I look and I see one nickel. Hmm, how much money do I have if I have one nickel? I think to myself, I'll touch it with my index finger and I'll count by fives. I have five cents. Nice job, you guys. Now I want to move to the next coin. The next coin is worth the same amount of money as two nickels. Hmm. I know that I can count this and I know how much it is. I touch it with my index fingers and count by fives. Five, ten. <gasps> Nadia's right. Nadia says that a dime is worth the same amount of money as two nickels. So let me just get some dime right here and I'll put it on my board. There's my dime right there. Dimes are really unique. I'm gonna ask you guys if you know, are dimes big and heavy or are they small and light? Hmm. They're tiny, you're right. And they're light. And to me, they're easy to slip out of my fingers. Another cool thing about dimes, and I'm gonna grab this one right here. I can take a dime and I can run my finger along the edge of it. And it has these little ridges. So it kind of scrapes my finger and my fingernail as I rub it. So it feels kind of rough. And that is a really great characteristic to know about dimes. So we talked about how dimes are worth 10 cents. How many of you guys can count by 10 with me all the way to 100? Are we ready? We're gonna count it. I don't have a fun count by 10 song, but maybe you guys, we, you guys can look for one with your grown up. All right, we're gonna go 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's counting by tens. I want you guys to do it with me this next time. Let's do it together, okay? Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Nice. Jeremy typed in 10. He must be counting, with ten, counting by tens with me. How about we try playing red light, green light again by counting by tens? Let me know if you're ready for that. I think you guys are going to do it and you're going to do great. All right, here we go. 10, 20. Oh, what? what comes next? Nadia says 30. Nice job, Nadia. Nadia and Clara, both the 30 is the next number. Here we go. I'm going to start at 30 and keep going. 30, 40. 50. What number? Nice job. 60 is the number that comes next. Nice work. 
60. 70. What's it going to be? 80. Nice work. 90 and 100 is right. 100 comes after 90 when I count by tens. Nice work, you guys. We're going to play that round one more time. Are you ready? 10. I stopped. 20 is what comes next. Nice job. 20, 30, 40. Good work. 50, 60, 70. Excellent job, you guys. 80. Ninety and then one hundred. You guys are count by five and count by ten masters. Way to go. I am really proud of your hard work. And guess what I just realized? I realized we forgot the nickel part of our book. So let me pull the book back out. We're going to talk about the nickel part and the dime part. So we have our magician here and we have another little boy and his set, his sign says, dust this duck, earn five cents. So he's dusting the duck and the wizard gives him one nickel. And we know that a nickel is worth the same as how many pennies? Five pennies, nice job. The nickel's worth five cents and five pennies makes five cents. So now we go down to the bottom of the page and we have the wizard with another little kid. And this one says, please paint this pot purple. And he's the little boy is painting that pot purple. I don't blame him because painting is really fun to do. And if he paints it purple, he gets 10 cents. So he can earn one dime and one dime is the same as two nickels, which is the same as 10 pennies. Nice. And I like having a dime instead of 10 pennies because if I have 10 pennies, I might lose some. But if I have a dime, I only have to keep track of one coin instead of 10. That helps me a lot. Very good. So let's look and practice counting some of our dimes by counting by tens. Let me get my board back out. And let me get some dimes on there. So on my board right here, I have two dimes. And I know that I can count by tens. So I'm gonna touch them with my finger. And if I'm counting by tens, I only touch them once. So I say 10, 20. So if I have two dimes, I have 20 cents. How about you guys do it with me where you're at? I'm touching it with my index finger and I'm counting by tens as I touch the dimes. 10, 20. Two dimes is 20 cents. Let me see if we can get another dime on here and if we can count that one as well. I have my board and my board has three tiny round rough edged dimes. 
I'm going to take my index finger and I'm going to touch them. I'm going to count by tens as I go. Here we go. 10, 20, 30. Is that what you got when you counted them with me? Did you get 30 cents? Nice. I love to hear that. What happens if I put another dime on my board? Now I have four dimes. Am I going to count by fives or am I going to count by tens? I'm going to count by tens. Thank you so much. All right, who can count with me? I'm going to touch them with my index finger and count by tens as I go. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh, and Jeremy is typing his answers in as he goes when he counts with me. Nice job. All right, I think I may have one more. And remember, if you have your coins in front of you, you can put as many dimes out as I have, and you can touch them with your index finger and count right along with me. So if you wanna take just a second and put five dimes out in front of you, if you're sitting at a table or if you're sitting somewhere where you can place those dimes, that would be great. And then we can do it together. All right, I've got my index finger ready to go and I'm gonna count by tens. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. If I have five dimes, I have 50 cents. That's awesome. So how are you feeling? Did you count them and get 50 cents? Let me know in the chat. And while you're telling me that, I'm gonna get my board ready for our next one. Now, I'm gonna describe to you guys what I have on my board. I'm gonna to touch it with my index finger, but I'm not gonna count out loud to tell you how much I have. It's your turn to be the money master. You get to count it and you get to tell me. Here we go. I'm gonna take it easy on you and start with just one dime. How much money do I have if I have one dime? Jeremy says, I have 10 cents and it's all flooding in the chat right now. I touch it with my index finger and I say 10 because I count by tens when I count dimes. Awesome. Let's try another one. I'm not sure I'm gonna take it easy on you because you guys are money masters. Now I have three dimes on my board. I'm thinking in my head, hmm, I know what to count by when I'm counting my dimes. How much money do I have? I'm touching the dimes, counting them in my head, and we have 10, 20, 30. Nice job, you guys. This is excellent, excellent money counting. All right, let's try one more. Here we go. I have four dimes on my board. How much money do I have? Hmm. Four small, light, rough edge dimes. I'm gonna touch them with my index finger, count by 10, and I'm gonna see if I get the same answer as you. 10, 20, 30, 40. Nice job, you guys. 
Excellent, excellent work counting our dimes. So we covered, hmm, might be time for me to hop up and remember those body poses that I had for these. We have covered a penny and I stand straight and tall. A nickel, I spin around. A dime, tiny and little, I squat to the ground, and a quarter. Wait, we haven't covered the quarter yet. Hmm, we better pull that out and talk about it. Quarters, out of the coins we've talked about today, quarters, are they biggest or smallest? Of a penny, a dime, a nickel, and a quarter. Nadia says they're the biggest. Nice. And of these four coins that we've talked about, they are the biggest out of the four. Nice, nice work. They feel kind of heavy when I hold them in my hand. And they also have that little jagged edge around the edge. So if I run my finger around the skinny round edge of this quarter, it feels kind of the same as the dime. It's rough. And if I use my fingernail, my fingernail will go from one jagged part to the next. And that's how I know I have a quarter. So quarters are worth the same as five nickels. Hmm. How much was five nickels worth? Do we remember? 25. Nice job. Five nickels is worth 25 cents. A quarter is worth 25 cents. And I I think it's called a quarter because 25 is one quarter of a dollar. So I can count by 25s when I count my quarters. So this one, I think to myself, and I just have to memorize it, 25, 50, 75, a dollar. So everybody say that with me. Here we go. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. Or you can say 100 if you want. All right, let's play red light, green light with this and see if you guys can tell me what comes next. Here we go. 25, 50, nice job. So now I'm gonna say 25, 50. I see 75 coming in the chat. Nice work, you guys. 25, 50, 75. 100, nice. Or you can say a dollar if that makes it easier for you. Very, very good work. So I'm gonna put some quarters on my board. The first one I have, there's one quarter. So what do I say when I count one quarter? I'm 25, nice job. I'm counting by 25, so I say, 25 when I have two quarters, I touch them with my index finger and count by 25s. So I'm gonna say 25, 50. Nice work, you are money masters. I'm gonna get me one more quarter, put it on my board touch them with my index fingers and count by 25s. 25, 50, 75. Very, very good work. Nice. And so if I put one more quarter,
quarter on my board. I'm going to count by 25s, 25, 50, 75, one dollar. Nicely done, you guys. All right. Who's ready for me to set up the board with quarters and you guys tell me how much money I have. Nice. Very good, you guys. Here we go. I see two big, heavy, shiny quarters on my board. Let's do it. <gasps> Donnie's already there. Good work. I have 25, 50. Nice work, you guys. All right, I wonder what's gonna be on my board this time. You ready? I see one quarter on my board. How much money do I have? I can see it, Nadia and Jeremy chiming in. They say 25 cents. Excellent counting. What happens if I add a few more quarters to my board? Ready? I have four quarters on my board right now. Let's count by 25s and count them together. Here we go, 25. 50, 75, one dollar or a hundred cents. Excellent. I love how you guys are putting this in the chat. And you know that four quarters is a hundred cents, which would be 100 pennies. It would be 20 nickels. It would be 10 dimes or four quarters. Nicely, nicely done, you guys. Who's ready for another game? Let me know in the chat. Oh, Nietzsche's ready. Excellent, excellent. I'm getting all set up right here for our game. What I'm going to do, we're going to play the mystery coin. And I have this really cool container right here. And it's got kind of like mesh around the outside. And listen to this when I drop a coin in. It's metal and I can hear that coin drop right in. So I'm going to drop a bunch of coins in here. And I'm gonna reach in, I'm gonna grab a coin, I'm gonna describe that coin to you, and you guys are gonna type in the chat. If it's a penny, you're gonna type a P. If it's a nickel, you're gonna type an N. If it's a dime, you're gonna type a D. And if it's a quarter, you're gonna type a Q. Here we go. I'm closing my eyes and reaching in. I'm pulling out. Oh, it's a heavy coin. It's silver. It's big. And when I rub my fingernail on the edges, it kind of scrapes and maybe makes a sound. Oh, I have answers in the chat. They say I pulled out a quarter. And you are so right. A quarter was the coin that came out. And a quarter is worth five cents or 25 cents. You tell me. 25 cents, nice job. So when I see a bunch of quarters, I count by 25s. Good work, Money Masters. All right, I have my container again. I'm reaching in, I'm pulling out a coin. This one's kind of small. It's round like all of them. The edges are smooth and it's brown or copper colored. 
Smooth edges and copper colored. I see a couple of peas popping into the chat. That tells me you guys know that this is a penny. Nice job. I'm going to put it down here a little bit below my quarter. And a penny is worth 10 cents or one cent. Hmm. You're right, it is worth one cent. When I count my pennies, I touch them with my finger and count by ones. Nice job, you guys. All right, I'm reaching in, I'm reaching in, I'm grabbing. Oh my goodness, I pulled out a very small silver shiny coin and the edges are rough and it's very light. What did I get? Oh, my money masters are letting me know in the chat. I found a dime. I'm gonna put my dime on my board just below my quarter. Hmm, and is my dime worth five cents or 10 cents? Nice work. Dimes are worth 10 cents and we get to count by tens when we count our dimes. Excellent job. I cannot fool you guys. Oh, maybe I can with my next one. I'm reaching in, I'm reaching in. Hmm. This coin's kind of heavy and it has a smooth edge. Hmm, it's silver. Silver, smooth edge, kind of heavy. Oh, Nietzsche says a nick, and I bet she believes a nickel. Nice job, you guys. I pulled out a nickel. How much is a nickel worth? Hmm, when I count my nickels, do I count by ones or do I count by fives? I'm seeing a lot of fives. Excellent job, you guys. All right, I'm gonna reach in and see what else I can pull out. Ooh, I pulled out a tiny coin that's silver and it has the jaggedy rough edge. What did I get? Tiny silver coin. Nice, I found a dime this time. Now I have two dimes on my board. Am I gonna count those dimes by counting by fives or by counting by tens? I'm gonna count by tens, excellent work. So since I have two, I wanna do that. Do that with me while, count along with me while I go 10, 20. I have 20 cents worth of dimes on my board. Excellent job. Are you ready for me to draw another coin out of my container? Here I go. I'm reaching in. Ooh, I found a round coin, smooth edges, and it's copper. Hmm. What did I find? A round, smooth edge copper coin. Yes, you are right. I found a penny. Excellent work. So I want to try something a little different with this. Let's count our pennies. Remember, we count by ones when we count our pennies, right? So here we go. How much do I have in pennies? One, two. I have two cents in my pennies. What happens if I have more than one type of coin all together when I need to count them? That could be tricky because I need to switch up how I count. So on my board right here, I have two dimes and two pennies. I wanna count that up so I know how much money I have. 
So I'm going to count all my dimes first because I know when I count my dimes, I count by tens. When I'm done counting my dimes, then I'm going to switch gears in my brain and I'm going to count by ones to count my pennies. Let me show you how it's done. 10, 20, 21, 22. Kind of tricky because we have to change gears. I think it's easy sometimes to kind of get kind of get caught up in my pattern when I'm counting by fives or tens. I want to just keep going. But if I need to switch gears, I've got to change that gear in my brain, kind of like I'm in a car. So I'm going to show you again. I have two dimes and two pennies. And I'm going to count the dimes first. I'm going to start by counting by tens. 10, 20, 21, 22. And that could take a little bit of practice. But you guys are money masters, and I thought it could be a great time just to introduce you to it. All right, I'm going to reach into my jar one more time. I'm going to pull out a I'm going to pull out a quarter. Oh shoot, I wasn't supposed to tell you. I pulled out a coin that's big, it's heavy, and it has a rough edge. Who can tell me how much a quarter's worth before I mess up and tell you? 25 cents. Nice. I can trip myself up, but I can't trick you. Very, very good. And then I'm going to reach in and pull one more coin out. And I got a silver coin. It's got a smooth edge and it's a little bit heavy. I see a couple votes for nickel. And if you voted nickel, you are right. Nice job, you guys. I hope that you guys can take these money master skills that you have learned on how to identify a quarter, a dime, a nickel, and a penny, and use that the next time you you find money or when you're with your grown up and they have money. Let them help you count. You'll do a great job. Well, thank you so much, Kathy. Okay, I've got to pull out my coins. I love the feeling of just shaking them and making noise. Maybe I should be counting them more than just making noise with them. If you are going to be joining us tomorrow, tomorrow our topic is using public transportation as a blind person, 101. I wonder if any of you have used public transportation it's meant for our a little bit older kids, but you're welcome to join if you'd like to learn along with us. On Thursday, we are talking about taking responsibility for our environment. Reduce, reuse, recycle. So you might have heard those words before. Feel free to come join us. I thank all of our students for joining us. Hello to all of you who are watching the video. We're so glad to have you with us. And Kathy, thank you again for making us Money Masters. Have a great afternoon. Bye, guys.